Ooh, hoo, hoo. Another sunny 75 day. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408 just down here at the track. She's starting to grow a little. I need to get the uh, lawnmower out here. So, oh, quit screaming at me, bird. <laughs> He's looking for uh, prey, looking for Jay. Looking for some breakfast. Don't take a nap. He might come down and poke at you. Man, that was cool. What's that? Not living the dream living the dream every day we got the kit today we got the old dewalt weed whacker we got the dewalt air compressor i got some gas potato cannon we got some buckets from home depot we're thinking what are we thinking oh the silver dodge it needed gas the other day hopefully so we'll put some gas in we're going to change the front tires with the back and then we're going to show you guys how to make a f airbag fireball cannon yep that's what we're going to call it yeah so it's uh, it's definitely a little dangerous, but you know what? Whatever. Someone's gonna do it. Yeah, if, if, if we don't do it, someone else will. So I gotta do a quick weed whack and then we'll uh, get after it here. That grows so quick, it's crazy. Man, that works good, eh? Yeah, I just wanted to clear this up a little because we might jump this again later. We'll see what we yeah. see next time. But all right, let's head over to the Dodge and get those tires swapped. Is that coyote? Where'd he go? Sneaky bugger. Yeah, it definitely looks like coyote, eh? I have never seen one down here that close. Last time I saw one, I was bulldozing over there and I saw one kind of, I had the dog with me and he kind of poked its head out, but he was just chilling right there. All right. Get some gas in there. Ugh. Went to get gas for the flamethrower this morning and then I realized I'm pretty sure this is out of gas too. I put uh, 15 liters in it about a month and a half ago. I figured that, uh, you know, last, but uh, Gas prices these days, it didn't last too long. It's like everything's always out of gas, eh? I know. Oh my God, Freck. The people that message me on Kijiji for these cars, insane. Like someone really wants to buy this thing? Oh, well, I got to bring a tow truck and that's going to cost me a bunch of money. So I'll give you, you know what? How about you just give me the car? It's like, it's not my problem if you have to freaking get a tow truck to tow it out. <laughs> like, yeah, come get it right away. Yeah, well, because I got that BMW at the bar, and they're like, yeah, I need, uh, I need to get a, bring a tow truck, and that's going to cost me like 400 so, you know what, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. I'm like, I'm like I'd rather light it on fire for 100 bucks. No, we'll, just, we'll just keep it and burn it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, nothing against you guys, but, you know, everyone that messaged me on Marketplace, holiday. There's lots. Yeah, when I go buy a car, I don't bitch and say, oh, I'll give you 200 bucks less, because i got to drive and pick it up. It doesn't car. run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like going to the dealership and buying a car and telling them, telling them to pay you because they had to deliver it to the dealership. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right, let's fire this thing up. We'll rip these tires off, do a quick swap of Runeski, and then uh, show you guys the uh, the fireball of death. Ooh. I saved a bit of gas, so we're good to go. That's yeah. like $50 right there. <laughs> no kidding. All, all right, right, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Stage. Don't jinx it though. It'll I have fall. My head in there. Yeah. Once your nuts are in there. All right, try this for the millionth time. Wow, our brakes are not well. well I think I last week or whatever one we did. Yeah, I think we lost everything. everything. <laughs> That's. I tried to floor it there. That's what happened. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Come on, girl. He opens freaking windows in this thing. Was it really out of gas? Uh, yeah, it's been on like bone dry. 
Doesn't help I parked it on a hill either. Might need to put more than just 10 liters in it. Come on, girl! I'm gonna try and idle it backwards. Oh yeah. Let's see if she'll idle now. Frick, that is loud. Is it gonna idle? Take the NOCO off. Take the NOCO off! So loud without that muffler, holy. Stay running. Eh, seems like it's gonna. Using the old beat up Princess Auto strap today. You wanna bring her over here, Jay? I don't know how it's on. I left the Yankum up at the house. Whoops. Look at the old shit jack up there. <laughs> uh, hopefully this doesn't shoot the wood out or if it doesn't stall or like a little uh, mouse house. I can't believe we saw a coyote. Ah, almost got it. All right, we're gonna have to pull the wood back a little. Just shrapnel hanging off this thing. Ever. Keep going. Just back up like 10 feet. All right, let me push these out of the way. Bring her forward. Boop. See how good our uh, hooker job does here. It's not a very good hook. All right, back up. Might need to go further. I guess I could just tighten up the strap. Is that? What breaks? Oh yeah, drag that Ford out of the way. Let her rip, Jay! Oh, you're off on this side. Uh, come forward. Look at this box. It kind of fell off. Oh, Jay, use those muscles. I, I, I need me. I need me a homemade scoop here. We're gonna throw a little mud on this so it spins easier. Hey, who needs a shovel? And you can just use the old scoop a loop. Yeah, scoop and poop. A little bit more. Yeah, mud those tires up, make it nice and slippery. Fling it all at the Ford. Good to go. Look at how bent that box is. Pretty good. pretty good. It slid off the wood at the end though. Pull oh. forward again, I'll, I'll push it over and then we'll uh, do one more. We'll smoke that coyote out. Yeah, yeah we kind of missed the uh, missed the hole there. Round two, yeah, look how, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but we definitely bent some stuff when we jumped it. Let her fly. Oh, perfect. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, man. All right, let's unhook her and, uh, oh, we put a groove in these tires. Holy. Yeah, that worked well. We're just going to go cool the unit down real quick before we swap these tires. No brakes on the thing, eh? Uh, yeah, that's the best way to cool it down. Just go do a big donut. Turn the mud pit? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. You gotta swap the tires though. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll throw her up on the jack and actually, probably right here. It's pretty flat right here. All right, let's do it. I don't know where Chris is. Hot. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I meant the tires being hot. Ah. Yeah. So when we manhandle them later, they, uh, you know. Don't, don't burn our delicate little fingers. My hands. little blister hand. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> hey, be a man. <laughs> how well is this gonna work, Jay? You're just doubting me. You're just like my wife. <laughs> have no faith in your husband. Oh. It was gonna work. We need something flat on here. Um. Um, might have to get the actual jack. <laughs> was that all the way? Uh, it was close. Hmm. It, was, it was getting really twisty though, so. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's a heavy truck to dodge. I know. What do you think? Should we get the actual jack or? Should we get the big farm jack? Do this the, uh, Is that actually the right way? The right way. I don't know, I feel like we could still do it, but maybe not. We find something flat. We need a crane. Uh, hey, we should pull it sideways. Oh, tip it up? Yeah. Yeah, but then I wreck all the door frames and they don't shut after. You let's know? Go, let's go from the rear. Go from the rear? Through the window. That's how you wreck all the door just, frames? Just don't open the rear doors. <laughs> just full of ideas here, I don't know. Hey, we'll figure this out. Okay, okay. Look at that. Innovators. We got some, some boards. That works. I just went through the... Right, we're good, we're good! <laughs> Are we gonna be able to get it? Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. All right, oh. let's see if we can get this unit off. Oh, I guess it's the wrong size. They eh? might be welded on there, who knows? They kind of look like they are welded on here. I mean, it's still a really good tire. I know. That's why I want to put them on the back. Oh, there's like, it's like 12 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Minor. Hey, F1 right there. <laughs> oh. That'd be a long pit stop if it takes you that long. <laughs> hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Is Chris here yet? No, Chris. He's coming. What's we going got a on random here? Lug nut here. We're not actually sure what size it is. It's not the same as the other one. No. Like nothing wants to go on here. Get on there. That might be permanent now. We might think. Just, just leave her on, eh? We just lost that socket, I think, I want to say. Yeah, she was an Amazon special, so who cares? Is it gonna come off now? All I know is if it comes off, I'm not putting it back on. <laughs> We're going full. We only need Hey, that do all day. Eh? Um, never mind. Like that was on there. <laughs> Jesus. How do I get it off now though? You're not. Just, you just lost that socket. <laughs> There's always a way, Jay. Oh, it's coming off. This may take a while. Okay, we're trying back in. Yeah, I don't know if there was a cover on there or what, but oh. I whacked it off. She's good to go. So it must be the same size. Maybe those ones have no covers. I don't yeah. know, that's weird. 
Now 15 more freaking lug nuts to go. Let's go. Nope. Who's here? Oh, we missed Chris. Chris is over there. Chris, Chris, got the kids going. I don't yeah. know. All right. Okay, so we got what? The other side? Or should I take that one off? I don't know. Yeah, well. We're doing fronts to back, yeah? Yeah, uh, I think so. Okay. All I know is this is done. She's done. Oh. You're done. You're done. Okay. We love making it as difficult as possible here. Now, how do we get the rear off? We got one jack. <laughs> we got one jack, one opportunity. We need a hoist down here, Mark. I know, or a crane. Or a crane. Just crane everything. <laughs> well, I'm glad we filmed that. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay tried to go up at least half, half an inch more. Luckily, my fingers weren't under there. Hey, you know what happened? And uh, the whole nut ripped off. <laughs> oh, man. We should have had the big jack down here, man. Uh, I well, now we have to go get the big jack. I think we just string it from the door frame. We just like making this as difficult as possible. That's Chris all I know. This. We'll make him lift it? If we had four dice down here, it could just be like... All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just freaking... Lift it with the Ford. Here we go. Get the Yankum. Are you sure you don't want to use? Hey, you, sh are you sure you don't want to use my truck for this? <laughs> Way down there. <laughs> I'm just trying to get Chris's attention. <laughs> he is here somewhere. All right. So because our jack kind of failed, we're gonna use the truck to pull the truck sideways. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. Keep her going. Keep her going. You're good. Perfect working height. I work good. It's like I tell my wife, don't doubt me ever. <laughs> hey, this is how not to do everything in life. So At least we know the rope. You don't follow how we do it. It's a good rope though, so I don't know. Oh, I yeah. think this is the Yankum 5000, this thing. Oh my god, you can floss your teeth, you can tug a rowboat, you can do whatever you want with it. It's a great rope. And there's a discount code below if you want to check them out. Anyways, off topic, Jay, let's get these tires. All right. Jay. Look at their little mechanic over here. Oh, he's got his bikes and everything over there. <laughs> Only one kid? Maybe Benjamin oh somewhere else. God, look at that situation okay. we got going on over here. What do we got? We got rubber everywhere. Frank, I just cleaned this Jay. Man, the paint is, I don't know. Hands down? Look at the working height, though. I mean, we got this on an angle. We won't have to hold the rim up. Should be I don't good know. to go. Look at, oh. Well, this tire is not bad, but the tire on the other side is difficult. This. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think my truck uh, lug nuts have a cover on them, too, now yeah. that you say that. I feel like most do. Why would they do that? Look good, I guess. Yeah. Save some money. Typical dodge, eh? Typical dodge. Always cutting corners. Speaking oh, of cutting shit. corners. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we'll. Uh, See this last one, too. It, it's all ballooned out. That's the one with the cover. Maybe we gotta break the cover off. Okay. Well, I do have a crowbar, so. Or a hammer. Yeah. We got some hammers and some nails, and we'll be good to go. All right. All right. We'll be back. Is it a cover? Or are we going four lug nuts on each tire? I really think it's a cover. It is a cover, come on. Beauty. Yellow! You brought the pro mechanic. Yeah. We got to see Well, we need to teach her this is not how you do stuff. Well, where's your blowtorch? Blowtorch. <laughs> it's in the back of the truck. Yeah. Big potato can. It's coming the same time as the hoist is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on its way. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this is... Hey! <laughs> you, doubt me, you never doubt me. I know everything to know about Dodges. <laughs> what? They yeah. suck. Man. And they use an air conditioner knob to change gears. Where's the drive shaft in here? Or the axle? This is a 2x4. This is only 2x4? Yeah, it's a non-fun vehicle. Why would you buy... I guess you burn oats, I guess. We don't talk about it. All right. <laughs> now we can take that log off. <laughs> We are good to go. Well, this, this is a uh, two-hand job. There's a bearing for the jack. We don't need that bearing where we're going. <laughs> all right, four nuts. That's all we need. It's not coming off. Woo! All you need is four. This is our work workout today, Chris. <sighs> well, why'd you use the tire on that, man? 
Left. She didn't want to do it. I know. So well, she would have put you to shame. <laughs> See, and that's why so, you don't stand. That's why. It. Yeah, that's what why you don't put your hands on it. Is your truck not in park? It's in park, and uh, it's because it's on the grass. It literally just slid. The old dog. Hey, Wait. we're good though. Well, we're good. Right in time. Jay's yeah, worried safe. sick over here. Yeah, not worried at all. Sick merch though. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. Look at that. Old garbage truck. This one. Yeah, harder. Yeah. <laughs> she is a burnout truck. What do you got? Schmack. Schmack. You're going to have some Dodge haters after this. <laughs> oh, she got to go. All right, let's lift her up. All right, we're on to the other side now. Good! Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was close. Even Ella was nervous. It almost went over. Hey, even she was nervous. <laughs> That's a great idea. So, we, yeah, we kind of wrecked the frame when we jumped it last time. That's what we lost. Some kind of... That's a dodge. What do you expect? Have to, yeah. I don't know if we bent the frame. Maybe we did. I don't know. Bent a lot of stuff. You think we bent the frame last time? 100% we bent the frame. It seems pretty straight. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's tough to say, but the box is definitely, there's something wrong with it because on the other side it's... Well, you can tell it's against the cab there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. This whole thing's rotten though. It's a good truck though. Oh, are we going to have to fight with the caps on this one? Jay? Yes, we are. It's funny how there's only one on one. I don't know, like, is there four caps? Is there five? I don't know. Like, this one looks like it has a cap on. We shall see. See what happens. All right, let's rip them off. We're good to go. How to move the seat we got the backs on the front and the fronts on the back, so we got some tread again. Oh. Tons of tread. Yeah, see the bottom? <laughs> Box on the right side doesn't look as well. What's he got? What's he got? The wind's going that way, so we'll set up the fireball to shoot that way. Let's do it. So here's the setup we got. We got our no coat, we got our giant wire, and you need two buckets. So the airbag goes in the bottom bucket, gas goes in the top bucket, so the airbag doesn't get wet with gas. And then you rig it up to the end of the wire here. You always need those plug things in there. If you lose those plugs, the airbag's pretty much useless. So, And uh, yeah, wind's going that way, so hopefully we don't burn down the forest. Give her a whirl. So basically you just shove your airbag in there, shove a bucket on top, and fill the top bucket full of gas. Ah. Sounds safe, right? Very and then safe. it's a mini cannon. Very Make sure it's on an angle pointed away from you. We'll be good to go. So final piece of the puzzle, you gotta light the fire. Alright, let's go. Right here. Oh yeah, you gotta, it's gonna hook up the NOCO, get some power to it, and yeah. boom! It's on fire, she's burning! We're burning good over there.
That worked good. That is your fireball of death. I didn't even get to see it. I was bending over. I don't think it was that big, but... Hey, that's why I got four buckets and plenty of airbags. That was that cool. That was just a test. That was cool, though. I, it's been a few years since I've done it, you know, with everything that's going on, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to line up two more buckets and my little chair thing there and uh, see if we can go bigger. I'm going to use right. the rest of the gas. You're going to go put that up? Yeah. Nah, that'll burn. So this is the aftermath. Usually the bucket blows right apart, but uh, these Home Depot ones. I was using Canadian Tire ones before, and they blew apart. But they're pretty strong. These ones. That's your that's your basic airbag. So yeah, if you want to blow off an airbag, make sure you have these things. If you rip those out, that's basically your fuse. So it won't go off, and you'll be screwed. So man, that stinks. Yeah, and they don't smell well. Don't breathe it in. No. Anyways, we'll grab the uh, airbag out of the Dodge and see if we can fire another one off. Let's go. Hey, at least it landed in the puddle. Man, that one's gone. And really, it's in the puddle. Let's check the slow mo. Alright. Want to figure out what it was? Yeah, a little Torx bit. They make it impossible to get in there though. Just smash it open. You pulled the fuse out, right? Yes. Sure, cool. Right on. <laughs> Just don't stand in front of it. Yeah. No, I think I did. When we jumped it, we pulled the fuse. Alright, yeah. Alright, we'll get this out. Fire one off. Do another one over there. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we gotta film all this. I just filmed a little bit. Yeah. Such a savage. Running out of time. I, I don't got time for this. <laughs> yeah. All right, good luck. All right, airbag number two. Ripped her out of the Dodge. See, this one just has one fuse in it. But it was oh, yeah. definitely a lot harder to pull out. We basically had to take the little thumb controls off of volume and seek. And then that's where your mounts were behind that, so. Usually you can just come in from the side, but you know, Dodge likes being difficult, as per usual. So. Obviously. Got the end of our uh, cord here. Hopefully there's no uh, static electricity left in there. That was licking off. Now we're good. <laughs> as it's still hooked up to the NOCO. Yeah. <laughs> All right, wire it up. this end up. <laughs> Don't hook that end up. <laughs> Wire this up, get our gas in the bucket, and let her go. Suds in the bucket, quills hanging out of the line. They won't be after this one goes. Don't mind my shaky fingers. Man, did you shake quite a bit? You knew I shake a lot. Just a shaker, eh? Shaker. Okay, so I'm gonna go hide. You gonna set up my phone? Yeah. Go ready? 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 Hold on, hold on. Okay, give her. There we go. That was a good one. Sweet. That was a little more straight up that time. That was really good. Yeah. That was probably at least eight liters of gas. I saved a few for the old Dodge. Man, that she was awesome. We stole her. Look at this thing. <laughs> you can also use uh, passenger side airbags, but they're they're like this big. They don't fit in the bucket. They don't so, fit in the bucket. Yeah, they don't fit with the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out of the line. That Anyways, good. that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you got a NOCO, a hammer, some wire strippers, your Torx wrenches, some Everything. random wire. And a kid. A kid to smash stuff. Hi. And a Chris. Hi. <laughs> thank you guys again. Make sure you follow these two on the gram. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.